What's going on YouTube, KushKing420 here, and believe it or not, this is my very first video, and the reason for making this video, as you can see, is pertaining to hydroponic nutrients, plant nutrients, and cannabis nutrients. Over my few years of growing, I've noticed there's not a whole lot of information, well there is and there isn't, regarding certain things, but necessarily nutrients and how they work, if they work, if they're worth the money. So I wanted to make some videos here. All of these products you see are going to be covered. I'm going to put them in different videos and break them each down for you. This first video I'm going to do on Clonex, which is a cloning solution that you use to take cuttings and produce more clones of plants. So obviously that's a good starting point since we're going to start off there. And let's get to that over here. This is the basic Clonex kit. This is how I bought it. You don't have to buy it like this, but I like the kit because you get everything in it. And I'm going to apologize for the quality. I'm on my iPad. Like I said, it's the first time doing this. So, got it from Discounted Hydroponics. Um, you get a little pamphlet here on how to take cuttings. Simple step, anyway. And then the full details are on the back page. There's six steps total. Okay, you get the little tray. You got to keep things sanitary. Always take your cuttings on the tray. And then clean it when you're done. It's a very nice tray. I like it. Then you got your Clonex Mist. This basically, after you take your cuttings, you just spray the plants in your humidity dome or propagator, however you're doing it. This is the actual rooting compound. And I must say, it is phenomenal. Clonex is a little more expensive than other brands, but it is well worth the money. I've bought in Root Tech... And one other brand I can't remember, but maybe five out of every ten plants would end up with roots and the rest would die with Clonex. Nine or ten plants out of every ten would end up with roots. That's how well this stuff works. They give you a little shot glass here because since you get the big jug, you don't want to expose this to too much air for too long or dump too much out because then you end up contaminating it. So you take it out of that and put it in the little shot glass for the little amount you need. And you just take your clone, dip it in there in the gel, and then put it in your Rockwell cube or your grow plug and in your humidity dome. The other product is their nutrient solution, which you start using this in the beginning, and when they start developing roots, you would mix this in with some water. I think it's 2 milliliters per liter, could be wrong. 5 milliliters per liter, sorry. And let's see if I can get the ingredients here for you. It's a 1-0.4-1 product, which means 1% nitrogen, 0.4% phosphorus, and 1% soluble potassium. So that's their clone solution for when you have roots. And then, like I said, this is the mist. You want to mist the leaves with this of your clones and your mother plant a few weeks before you start taking cuttings. It just helps promote better health and root growth, all that good stuff. But yeah, Clonex is by far the best kit out, or best product rather. Like I said, all the other ones, they just did not compare to what this product does, so I highly recommend this. Anyone that's skeptical on spending the money, or you want to try a different product, I highly recommend Clonex. You'll get your dollar's worth and won't have to worry about stuff not rooting, getting your hopes up, because guaranteed this product will work. I stand by it 100%. So yeah, well that covers it for the Clonex. Like I said, I'll walk back over here quick. I'm going to do videos on all these. The main nutrient line that I run, I like a lot, is Technoflora. That's what I started with. I just started getting to the advanced nutrients, but I've only gotten additives. I don't have any macro or base nutrients by them. All of it is Technoflora, which is back here. It's a little bit cheaper than advanced nutrients. Depends on the product. Like I said, this one right here by advanced nutrients is very expensive because it works. I will cover Bud Factor X in a different video. Sugar Daddy's a sweetener. That's not too expensive. Uh, you got your BC Boost, which is your micronutrients, the BC Grow, which you use for vegging, BC Bloom, obviously for blooming. You got your Magic Cal, which is magnesium and calcium, 
uh, your Route 66, since we're covering Clonax, I will cover this in this video. Now, as I've shown you over here, with the Clonex solution for feeding to promote root health, I like this stuff right here. Right here. Sorry about that. This stuff, Clonin Seedling Nutrient, it's not bad. Not bad at all. It does work. But this stuff right here is killer. You will have a humongous root ball using this. But with good results comes a hefty price. This stuff is kind of pricey. I think a liter of this is around 60 bucks. So I wouldn't go buying a liter because you're only using it for promoting roots, which is usually early stage of growth. So I think this is, what, a 500 milliliter? Let me check. Nope, 250 milliliters. Right there. That's all you really need. Maybe 500 milliliters if you got a lot of stuff going on. But I just bought this, I think it was like 20, 20 bucks, 17 bucks for this. But this is phenomenal. It is a super product. I love it very much. Technoflora definitely did good with this. Let me see if I can zoom in on the ingredients for you guys. Here, I'll put it on its side and zoom down for you. I'm at my kitchen table, as you can see the lovely mats. Okay, so we got 1% nitrogen. 1% phosphorus, so it's a little stronger than the Clonex, which for inexperienced growers, you might want to dilute this a little more than the instructions say. I'll get to that in a second. It's also got 1% iron, or 0.5% iron, 1% potassium. So basically the same thing as the Clonex solution, but it has more potassium, 0.6% more, and this also includes Kalita to iron, and boron, which are macro and micronutrients, which also are very good for your plant. This is why I recommend this for the rooting over the Clonex, because it just has more stuff. But like I said, if you want to pay the money, I would go with the Route 66. If you want a little more bang for your buck and on a budget, just use the Clonex kit, as this is not necessary, but this you get better results with. By far. I love it. Also, I'll cover in this video because it can be used for cloning, is Thrive Alive. They make two products, also made by Technoflora, B1 Red, B1 Green. The only difference is green is organic, red is synthetic. Now, you may be wondering, what the hell is Thrive Alive? Thrive Alive, also called Super Thrive, different brands, different names. They're basically B, vitamin B supplements. It's like an energy for your plant. And... Let me see here. The green contains 1% potassium, 0.1% iron made from kelp, and let's see what else here. Yeah, basically just kelp with 0.9% vitamin B1. And then the red, I've used it so the label's a little messy here, is almost the same thing. If you can see, let me get them side by side here. You can see the difference. Organics on the left, synthetics on the right. Organic has less ingredients, as you can see. I like the red, even though it is synthetic, but that doesn't really matter if you do a flushing cycle with your plant. The red is awesome. I love this product. Between this, Root 66, and the Clonex kit, your plants get started off so well. So well. This, though, just like the Route 66, is a little pricey. I think this one right here, this is the 500 milliliters, because that's 250. This cost me, I like to say, 20-something bucks, maybe? Maybe 30, because this is kind of pricey. Um, this came with the Thrive Alive, or not the Thrive Alive, the Technophora Success Kit, which is a recipe for success. You get a little recipe guide here. Tells you how to mix everything for veg bloom. But that covers the cloning stuff. And then I will get into the rest of this here with you in a minute. 